In the last video, I demonstrated how logic gates can be used to construct a device that adds binary numbers, and I showed my printed circuit board design for a board that can add a pair of 4-bit numbers while handling carrying. But 4-bit numbers aren't that useful for a computer, so now I want to expand upon this idea to construct a larger adder capable of adding 16-bit numbers. Let's make an abstraction by hiding the complexity of my adder board inside this box. The box has nine inputs. Eight of the inputs are the A and B addend bits, which get sent to each of the four adders inside. The last input is the carry-in bit, which is sent to the first adder. The carry bits are then propagated from one adder to the next inside the box. The outputs are the four sum bits from each of the four adders, and the final carry out bit from the last adder. By daisy chaining the carry bits between four of my adder boards, I can finally create a 16 bit adder, which looks like this. Here's the 16 bit adder assembly with all four boards completed. The full assembly has 64 relays. The red and green wires are used to daisy chain power and ground to each board. The input and output are connected via the header pins on the front. Connecting all of the adder boards together in a way that can easily interface with the rest of the computer can be a bit tricky, so I designed this interface board for the adder subsystem. The board has a 40-pin ribbon cable header on the left, which takes the two 16-bit input add-ends as well as the initial carry-in bit. In the middle of the board is a 15-pin connector for each of the four adder boards. The 16-bit add-ends are divided up into 4-bit chunks and distributed to each board. The carry-out of each adder board is connected to the carry input of the next adder board. Finally, all the sum bits and the final carry-out are connected to the 40-pin ribbon cable connector on the right. I also added some spots for resistor networks to act as pull-downs for relay outputs that would otherwise be left floating. Additionally, I included some spots on the board for display circuits which would show the state of the adder, but I decided at the last minute not to populate these. Instead, I'm going to create a separate display board which will show the state of the whole ALU in one place.
I designed the adder boards to be stackable in order to save space, but now that I see it all put together, I've decided I really don't like this design. Part of the fun of making a relay computer is watching all the relays click on and off, and with the boards stacked you really can't see any of the relays on the lower boards. So I decided to use this spare piece of MDF shelving to come up with a more aesthetically pleasing design. Testing the full 16-bit adder is also going to be a bit of a challenge. The adder has 33 inputs and 17 outputs, so just relying on a few discrete transistors on a breadboard is no longer going to be practical. So I've been working on some protoboards which will help with testing these larger circuits, but I'll talk about those in the next video. For now, thanks for watching.